Good evening, everybody. We are going to get started here in just a second. Um, as soon as I get chat up, you guys know my iPad kind of lags a little bit these days for whatever weird reason. So as soon as it comes up and wants to be my friend and let me see chat, we'll be we'll be ready to go. Um, so what we have tonight, of course, is all about the football. First up, we're going to have a half case of mini helmets. Uh, that's five boxes of mini helmets. And that is, uh, of course, it sounds like a lot when you say half case, but really it's not. It's pretty quick. And then we have one football jersey and one full-size helmet. And then we will be into Classics Football after that. That's the product that just came out today, uh, 2017 Classics Football. And we'll actually have two breaks of that. Break number one, which is a half case that ended last night. And then break number two, which is the second half of that case, and it ended tonight. So first up. Five times 2017 TriStar Hidden Treasures Autograph Mini Helmets. That's a half case break. The 11th time we've done a half case break of this product. And it is the last that we have in half, in half case quantity. You'll notice we start switching over to some Leaf Autographed Mini Helmets in half case over the weekend. So that is what we'll be moving forward with. And of course, we have team names down the left hand side, winning bidders down the right hand side. Do have a couple teams in here that are unpaid, um, and that was as of probably five minutes ago. I did kind of hold off finalizing the spreadsheet as late as I could because uh, in some of the other breaks, we also have several unpaid teams, so I was trying to give everybody time to get those payments in, but as it turns out, we still have some unpaid teams. And of course, we're going to put up that spreadsheet before each and every break that we do tonight. So um, you'll have a chance to see when we get to, if you're not in this break, if you're in you know, one of the other breaks, you'll get a chance to see your name in lights for that. And while I'm thinking about it, um, you know, normally on these breaks, if you guys don't hit the mini helmet or the jersey or whatever the case may be, uh, I have been sending you the random selection of trading cards, but I've been getting quite a bit of feedback that you guys uh, from a number of people saying they really don't care about those, they don't want them, etc. So here's what I'm thinking. If you, if you do want them, send me a message by eBay and let me know, hey, yes, I like them, I want them, and I will send them to you, of course. If you do not want them and all you're doing is like getting them and chucking them in the trash then I think we should I'm trying to get in this box and apparently I'm not able to talk and cut into this box at the same time uh, then what I think I want to do um, is just kind of keep a running list and let's say that you don't want them because all you're gonna do is toss them in the trash then I'm gonna make a note of that and we're going to keep track of how many of those cards are not wanted. And then I'm going to take them in aggregate and donate them somewhere to Ronald McDonald House or some other, you know, children's hospital or whatever. Because, I, you know, I think someone might appreciate them. And I hate for them just to be getting thrown out when I'm sending them out and people aren't wanting them. And that seems to be most of the feedback that I'm getting is that people don't want them. So if you do want them please send me a message and let me know. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to start keeping track and, and we're going to end up donating a bunch because I think that seems like a better, a better choice so that somebody can enjoy them. All right, so first up, we have a Dan Deerdorf helmet. And that is the first time I have seen a Dan Deerdorf helmet. And, of course, that is just marked on the bottom as Michigan, so it's a college helmet which means that we're going to have to go in. Of course, uh, he was. this is a 2017 product. Obviously, Dan Deerdorf retired, uh, not an active player in 2017. So that means we will, this being a college helmet, and it has no pro team identified on it anywhere, that means that we will be looking up in a little bit to see the teams that Dan Deerdorf played for, and that helmet's going to go to the team that he played for the longest Second helmet in our mini helmet break is Larry Little for the Dolphins. And, of course, he's a Hall of Famer 
And he signed it, of course, Hall of Fame 93. So our second helmet, Larry Little for the Dolphins. And, oh, I just now saw this in chat. <laughs> Hi, Jared and Dave and Jimmy. <laughs> hey, if you want to get the free cards, absolutely. I'm happy to send them. I'm just, everybody's been sending me the feedback that they don't want them. They don't like them. Some people are, you know, not even particularly nice about it. So if you want them, great. But that has not been the feedback that I have been getting. Um, so absolutely anybody that still wants them or if the majority of you say hey yeah I want them then that's great I'm happy to continue doing it it's just been up to this point the feedback has been mostly people saying they don't want them and so next up we have Paul Warfield helmet and of course that looks like that is a Browns helmet it is a Browns helmet it says Browns on there too but it's talking about that he played for the Dolphins. Oh, I see. He played for both. Okay, so he played for the Browns and the Dolphins, but this is on a Browns helmet. Um, so, yep, and it says Cleveland Browns on the bottom, even though that's upside down. You can see it on there. So, the Paul Warfield is headed to the Browns. Next up, we have got a Charger, and our Charger is Fred Dean. Fred Dean Pro Bowler for the Chargers coming out on that mini helmet. And then our last one, we do have one more individual mini helmet and that's in a Sunday break. We've got a bunch of different uh, individual helmets and uh, those are all up on Sunday. A Steelers helmet. You all know how happy I am right now because I love seeing the black and gold come out for anything. So there is a nice Steelers helmet hit for Rocky Blue. I can't even say his name. Bleer? Bleer? I don't, <laughs> why can't I say his name? Yeah, well, I can't. Uh, anyway, nice hit for the black and gold with Steelers helmet. So here we have Steelers. Of course, we had the Chargers. We've got the Paul Warfield for the Browns. The Larry Little for the Dolphins. And then we've got to look at Mr. Dan Deerdorf here. I guess we should scoot all this over and put him in the middle since he's the one that we've got to deal with a little bit. And give me one second while I uh, head over here to, to look it up. Because I don't know the answer. I should know the answer because, like, I know the name. But yeah, I don't know the answer, so we're gonna we're gonna pull it up. Oh, come on, we just want his stats, man. Here we go. Come on, NFL.com, give us the stats. Oh yay, he only played for the Cardinals. That's so much better than having to like look it up and then somebody be all disappointed, like, oh, he I thought I'd get it, but he played for the other team longer, so. Okay, excellent. And yes, Fred, I do see that now. You and Dave both uh, jumped in there and said Cardinals, but I was already on the other page, so I, I didn't see your chat till I came back. All right, so for the Cardinals, we have... Wait a minute. For St. Hang on. I need to go back to that for a second, because it was St. Louis, right? Ah, uh, now I lost my page on there, and I wouldn't, you know, why, why do I do those things? Because I get myself uh, on the wrong page. Okay. Yeah. St. Louis Cardinals. Okay. Right. So, St. Louis Cardinals. I just want to make sure that I knew what I was uh, doing there. And that we don't have any kind of uh, weird problems. Okay. So, Cardinals with the Dan Deerdorf. I'm assuming... I don't know the uh, the franchise history for the St. Louis Cardinals. Of course, we had the St. Louis Rams. I'm assuming the St. Louis Cardinals are the current Arizona Cardinals, but I will have to look that up. So what we know about Dan Deerdorf is that it was St. Louis Cardinals. Whatever that franchise is currently, we'll get that helmet. So if St. Louis Cardinals became Arizona Cardinals, it will go to Arizona Cardinals. If St. Louis Cardinals became St. Louis Rams, became Los Angeles Rams, then it would go that direction. So I will look that up uh, offline later. But So whatever franchise 
the St. Louis Cardinals became is where that will go. Paul Warfield for the Browns. Fred Dean again for the Chargers. And then for the black and gold with the Rocky. Now let me get these uh, kind of set off to the side because we are going to need all of our room tonight. We've got a full case of classics to open up, so we're going to have to have a place to stack that. So I've got to actually move the little mini helmets down the road here a little bit. So give me one sec to get them back in their boxes. And then we'll move into break number two, which I think is the jersey, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we have the full-size football helmet after we do the jersey. I think I have that order correct. So, yeah, we are going to be on the, on the jersey next. So, this is a one-time, one-box, whoops. One box 2017 Hip Parade football jersey. Fourth time we've broken it. This particular box is Series 19. Uh, you will see in there, of course, we have some unpaid teams. And again, that was as of like five minutes before the, uh, before the break time. Uh, Bryce, wh that, what were you asking me? That was, um, Bryce, what we just finished was the half case of TriStar Mini Helmets, which was break number 11. What we're doing right now, what we're getting ready to do, is the Hit Parade football jersey. Then after that will be the full-size helmet, and then after that will be Classics football break one and break two. So that is the, the TriStar is what we just finished up with. All right, so this is one-time 2017 Hit Parade football jersey number four. Break number four, this is series 19 on this particular jersey. Um, anything that says unpaid, of course, just means payment hadn't come in at the time the spreadsheet was finalized. Anything that says no bids buyback, like that right there, means that that was an unloved and unwanted team. If anything were to come out for that team, then it would have to hang out here uh, with me and its, uh, its brothers on Card Mountain, which... I swear to you, I'm going to sort. I really am. I mean, I've got to. It's it's taking over my entire house. <laughs> like everybody, everybody's at this point saying, you have got to sort the cards. <laughs> and I know that I do. It's just I run out of time, right? I mean, it takes a lot of time to break and list and ship and all that stuff just takes forever. All right, so... We have Clark. It is a Clark jersey. And I can't even read that. Is that first name? What is that first name on there? Is that Daryl? Danny? Who is that? Who is this player? Let's see what else we can find on here. This is probably going to be a custom jersey. Yeah, it is. Um, so it doesn't have any other info on it. So what the heck do you suppose that says? Daryl, I think, right? Does that look like, well, if I can get it in the right light. Does that look like Daryl to you guys? <laughs> I don't know why they can't just put something on there that says it. <laughs> of course, that handwriting is not as bad as some that I've seen, but I think that that says Daryl Clark. Dwight, that says Dwight Clark. <laughs> okay, well, see, there you go, because it looked like Daryl to me. So, okay. Apparently, it is Dwight Clark, and now that you say that, I can see it. Yeah, you can see it once you know what it's supposed to say, I guess, because that would be the T that I thought was an L. So, all right, so there is our jersey. There's just a little authentication that comes with it. And now getting this back in the bag, once I half unfolded, it is like trying to get a map folded back up. It never goes quite in back in quite the same way that it came out, but... But nonetheless, down the road we go. All right, that brings us up to our full-size football helmet. And those are always fun. I love doing the full-size helmets. And that, all, that is in like a gigantic box, um, like a crazy big box. They put them in an absurdly large box every time. <laughs> And this again is one, it's going to be one full-size helmet. It is 2017. It's Hip Parade. 
Uh, this is the fifth time we've broken one. This particular helmet is Series 3. And same format as before with our team names down the left and our winning bidder names down the right-hand side. Anything marked unpaid, of course, just means payment had not come in at the time the spreadsheet was finalized, which is generally um, about 10 minutes before break time. Although if there's a lot of unpaid stuff like there was tonight, I will sometimes try to hold it until, you know, maybe five minutes till or something like that. So, so here is our ginormous full-size helmet. And I apologize because this is going to be loud getting this plastic off here. It's a big chunk of plastic too. It's really kind of more like cellophane. I mean, I guess there's kind of a difference between cellophane and plastic, sort of. It's not like your traditional shrink wrap, in other words. Oh, and then they've got paper in here on top of that. Sometimes they put paper in them and sometimes they don't. You never really know one way or the other whether they're going to have it in there or not. It does come in this little uh, hit parade, uh, if you can see it, that little hit parade carry bag. It does come in that. And what do we have in here? Looks like we're going to have a Seahawk. And there is your signature on your Seahawks helmet. And this fell out of here, and that's some kind of just little... Oh, that's the Certificate of Authenticity. I thought it was a little advertisement. But no, the COA is on the back side. Okay, so there is, a, there is the little uh, Certificate Guarantee on the Seahawks helmet. And... Um, I like that they signed it in. I'm going to pick the camera up because I think it'll make it easier to show you. Even so, though, we're getting a glare on it, aren't we? But I like that they signed it in the green ink. I think that's actually pretty cool. It looks nice on the helmet. And that was a little better, I think, than trying to... The helmet's just... You know, they're so big in the camera where it's positioned, it's hard to get a good view of it if I don't pick the thing up. All right, so nice, uh, nice helmet hit for the Seahawks. Get the COA back in there. And get it back in its bag in this box. Give me one second, guys, and then we'll get started on the next one. I just want to get the helmet put away. Okay. So, what's coming up next is two different breaks of uh, 2017 Panini Classics football. So this is going to have our 2017 rookies in it, of course. And break number one actually ended last night. You'll see that on their eBay end date. It was last night, the 23rd. Break time, of course, is tonight. So as soon as we finish break number one, we're going to break the second half of that case, which ended tonight, uh, as, of course, uh, break number two. And I will put the spreadsheet up again when we get ready to do break number two. So first up, break number one from last night. And just like before, anything, no bids, just pretty self-explanatory. Um, otherwise, you will see your name there with your associated team. And, of course, this just came out today, so uh, I'm going to be opening it for the first time myself right now with you guys. I haven't been in here yet either. And here's what we're going to do with this. Um, I'm going to take all the boxes out, all 10 of them, and then we're going to label them on the end, uh, number 1 through 10. And then we're going to let random decide which of the 10 boxes that we open in break number one. And the reason I want to do that is because we do have a case hit in here somewhere. That is a buyback uh, on Card Auto, I think, I believe is what the case hit is, if I am remembering correctly. And usually, you know, I'll just let you guys decide, like, right, left, middle, or whatever. And, and we may even do that later on some other breaks with this. But for tonight, for the first one, what we're going to do is just label 
each box on the end and then we'll let random tell us which is going to be for which. Eight, nine, see I told you, my even my uh, numbering is bad, like my handwriting's illegible, my numbering's not much better, <laughs> I don't think, but hey, we try. So, 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 let me get uh, over here to our right page, and then we're just going to take um, the first five that random gives us is going to be the five, will be the five that were open, and that is six, nine, two, three, five. I better write that down. I will not remember that. Six, nine, two, three, and five. Okay. And if you are in break number two, of course, it's going to be coming up as soon as we finish break number one. All right, so we need two, three, five, six, nine. There's two. There's three. We'll take this one out and that one out. Two, three, five, six, and nine. All right, and there's nine. Excellent. So let's see what we can find in here. Um, now, of course, you're going to have uh, the rookies in classics are generally still in their collegiate uniforms. So there's going to be plenty of rookies that I may not uh, remember right as soon as I look at them what team they were drafted by. So I will sort all that out, of course, using NFL.com before I ship it out, just FYI. So, of course, anything that is a hit, we have signature or memorabilia hit with one of those players, then clearly we will verify that while we're still on air. But as far as the base cards go, rather than taking forever and, and going through and trying to... Uh, look them up one at a time. I mean, that would just take us forever. So just know that I will verify all of that on NFL.com before we get that far, before they ship. I was trying to reach at the same time. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't know. I might, have, I might have slightly lost my train of thought there towards the end. Sorry. And there's going to be a lot of base in here. As you can see, there are 10 cards per pack, and there are, what, like uh, 14 packs or something per box? I don't know how, well, however many, like all those. So we're going to kind of buzz through this. And we'll stop on things that look like inserts, or obviously we'll stop on our hits and whatnot. But stuff that is just traditional base, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on. Here's a Marshawn Lattimore numbered 250. And that, of course, uh, he's in his collegiate uniform there. But again, that will go to. Oh, well, I know where Juju Smith Schuster goes because he's going to. He's a Pittsburgh Steeler, baby. Um, but any of those guys that are in our new rookies, our 2017 rookies that are in their college uniforms. Of course, we'll, we'll go to the team that drafted them. That's, that's how they will be determined and sent out. Oh, look at that. Ha! Huh. There's a Jimmy Johnson uh, sideline side line generals autograph hit for the Cowboys, number 25. That is actually pretty cool, I have to tell you. The Jimmy Johnson, I, I like that hit. Hopefully, the Cowboys fans like it as well. And this will set aside. We're probably going to have to go to random unless we have a ton. If we have an absolute ton of uh, dual cards like that, dual player cards, then we might just take all the dual player cards and, and award them to one particular spot, you know, via random. But if we only have a handful, you know, four or five, then we'll do them one at a time. And all that kind of stuff, if anybody's ever interested in reading it, is uh, on, on the auction description page. It's down there in that special circumstances area, which has a lot of different, a lot of different scenarios in it. Basically, any scenario that I can think of or have encountered is going to be in that special circumstances area. Archie Manning, that's a blast from the past. Earl Campbell, of course, anything that you see that is a, that is a, an Oilers card actually is going to go to the Tennessee Titans. 
and that's because the Houston Oilers moved to Tennessee, became the Tennessee Oilers, and then ultimately changed their name to the Tennessee Titans. So card always stays with the franchise. And in that particular instance, that means Tennessee Titans for any card you see that says Oilers on it. There's a Peyton Manning record breakers insert for the Broncos. And doesn't look like that is numbered. Wasn't really sure because, again, this is my first time opening it as well. So you're kind of, we're seeing it together. Oh, that's nice. Um, of course, you know I'm going to think it's nice because it's it's got a Jerome Bettis on it. But, again, we've got him in two different uniforms. We've got him on the Rams and on the Steelers. So we're going to set that aside as well. And then we will uh, we'll visit at the end of the break. We'll see how many of those dual player cards we have and make a determination what we're going to do with them. In past years, we did not have a ton of those, so we'll just have to see how this one plays out. That is numbered to $2.99 on the Keenan Allen insert for the Chargers. Oh, there's some more Steelers, Bradshaw and Roethlisberger. I love seeing my Steelers. You know I do. So I haven't even seen the checklist on this yet. I, I should have looked that up. There's another duel, uh, Aaron Rodgers and Jared Goff, because I would like to know what our options are on the buyback autograph on the case hit. And I was so busy today that I really did not have time to look it up. Demarcus Ware flashback fabrics for the Cowboys and that is numbered 250 and oh we're right on a seam like you can see the seam and probably uh, probably underneath the edge of that card probably was a little bit of a second color but basically we've got white but we do have a seam and maybe a tiny tiniest little bit of blue along the edge and that's number five of 50 so that's two hits for the Cowboys so far, one signature and one materials hit. And we should have an autograph and a material in each box. And then somewhere in the case, we have a case, you know, the case hit, which is the on card buyback autograph. James Harrison. I don't think any of these Super Bowl heroes are numbered. I think anything that's going to be numbered will be numbered on the front, like our others were. So we'll keep an eye out for them. I'm just making sure that uh, I had to glance over there and make sure that the iPad was still moving along. We are continuing to have crazy weather this week and um, storming outside again. So I'd just like to make sure this is to $2.99 on the Michael Irvin for the Cowboys. And there is Matt Ryan and Luke Ketchley. That's another dual player card that we will set over there to the side and figure out what to do with shortly. But if we do end up with a lot of them, and it looks like we're going to, because uh, there is yet another one, if we end up with more than probably five or six in total in the break, then uh, I will be inclined to just probably take all the dual player cards and award them in, you know, use random.org to award them to one team, one spot on the bidding rotation. There's Patrick Mahomes to $2.99. So that's a nice little, nice little rookie numbered hit there. Another dual. Be interested to see how Mahomes does, right? Like, I don't know if I was expecting him to... Well, I know I wasn't actually expecting him to get drafted quite as high as he did. So be interested to see how that works out, O.J. Howard. You never know where you're going to find the... Where you're going to find the guy, though, right? I mean, just look at Dak from last year. You just never know. Aaron Conley, next level insert, Jadavon Clowney. All 
All right, that was box one. Whoops, messed up my little edge of my little map there. Because we have, I got a whole stack of mats on here tonight. Because I decided to, <laughs> I decided to cover up to cover up the tops mat with the panini mat tonight, since we are breaking panini. But so now it's just a big stack of them. Another duel. Curtis Samuel. Jordan Willis. So I think that the first product we will see that has our 17 rookies in their uniforms, there's Malachi Dupree, uh, Perrine, is, I believe it's going to be Elite. I think that will be the first product that shows them in their NFL uniforms. This is the first product that has them with the correct team designation. Um, all the others, well, I guess actually, yeah, I guess it doesn't. I thought it would say on there, um, but it doesn't say on there what their team designation is either. So I guess the first one with team designation will probably be, um, prestige then. So this is the first after the draft, then prestige will be the first with the updated team designation and elite will be the first one in the new uniforms. I think I have that right. I believe that is correct with uh, the way Prestige falls in the release calendar. I'm seeing lots of Steelers in here. I like that, of course. Always makes me happy to see the black and gold. Here's Zeke. And we have a Marvin Jones Jr. insert number to 299. Next level insert. But in general, I like uh, I like classic. I gotta be honest. I, I enjoy classic. And I like some of the hits that you get in Classic in terms of signatures and things you don't really get anywhere else very often. So there's a potential to do a lot of fun stuff with this. And, of course, potential to get some rookie, uh, rookie signatures out of here, too. This is numbered 250 on the, on the uh, Bucky Hodges rookie card. Who do you guys think is going to be... Off from the offensive side of the draft, who do you guys think is going to be the breakout player this year? I don't know that I've really made a decision about what I think about it yet. I think the defensive side uh, is going to be the Browns. I mean, you know, they had such a... Everybody knew he was going to go number one, and, and he did, and deservedly so. I think from a defensive standpoint, he will live up to his reputation. But offensive will be interesting. Oh, so there's our buyback autograph, and it's Warren Sapp, numbered to 12. That is a nice, uh, that's a nice hit right there. You can see it does have, um, down here on the bottom left, there is a bit of a wonky corner down there. It's um, unfortunately not... Not minty mint, but that is often the case coming out of the pack, and especially on one that is a buyback. So this is number 2 of 12, uh, Buccaneers Warren Sapp on card auto. So there's our, uh, there's our case hit, and that is a nice case hit, a very nice case hit with the Warren Sapp. And, yeah, we're definitely, we're going to have a ton of uh, multiplayer cards coming through there. So, if we end up with a multiplayer card that is a numbered insert or a signature or materials hit, then we will use random to award it amongst, um, that was Evan Ingram, amongst the teams that are represented on it. But if they're all just base cards like we've seen so far, we're going to award the whole 
lot of dual player base cards to one bidding spot. Darren McFadden for the Raiders. Flashback Fabrics, and that is numbered to $3.99 on the Raiders Fabric Kit. Oh, Mean Joe Green. Nice. I really like the Warren Sapp. You guys aren't saying much, so either, either whoever has the bucks is not on the broadcast or you guys just don't think it's as good as I do, but I like that Warren Sapp number to 12. This is number to 299 on the uh, LT for the Giants. John Elway, Dermotti Dawson. Well, Spider, I guess I could, um, yeah, I mean, I could do that. I don't think that's the way that we necessarily have it written in the special circumstance rules, but I do think it is written in there that it just says they will be awarded via random. Um, so I guess we could possibly do that. The suggestion for anybody who, who can't see chat, I know some of you, if you're not logged in, you may not be able to see it. This is a Stacy Coley to 299 rookie insert, numbered insert. Um, the suggestion via chat is that we just let random decide like left or right on those cards. And so in other words, if it pulls up the left side, then any team that's on the left side of the card would get it. And whatever team was on the right side of the card wouldn't get it or vice versa, obviously, if it pulled up uh, right instead of left. I'm not really opposed to that. If you guys are, uh, if you guys are fine with that, I'm fine with that. I just know we can't set in random 50 different base cards that are multiplayer. Again, you know, inserts and, you know, numbered inserts and hits are another matter, but base cards, there's just too many of them to set in random individually. Barry Sanders to $2.99 for the Lions. So, yeah. So I'm, not, I'm fine with that if, uh, if you guys want to go that route. I think that's a solid suggestion, Spider. Anybody else want to chime in on that thought? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> I'm like, you guys are really quiet tonight. So quiet. And some of them... Um, you know, we may have more than one, and if we have more than one of the exact same card, like I'm pretty sure we have another one of those Luke Catchleys. Let's see if it's the exact same or not, just for the purposes of curiosity. Yeah, so like there's the same card twice. So in that case, if we had the same card twice, I would just send one to the Falcons and one to the Panthers. But if we do not have the same card twice, then we would still have to deal with, uh, you know, Whatever we're going to do. The left-right kind of thing. Brandon Marshall to $2.99 for the Jets. But yeah, I think, that's, uh, I think that's a fine way to do it. Honestly, we don't normally have so many multiplayer base cards that we even have to consider what to do with them. So, more in here this year for sure than there were last year. There's a Joe Mixon. I think we saw Joe Mixon earlier too. So, a couple of Mixon rookies in here for the Bengals. And we've got a Bruce Smith flashback fabrics hit for the Redskins, and that is number two, three ninety nine. Another uh, career colors. I just saw something just popped up an ESPN notification just popped up on the iPad. Something about Le'Veon Bell. 
I think it said he donated something or another to his high school. There's a Kaya rookie. While I'm thinking about it, um, for the most part, I expect this stuff to go out um, probably Saturday. It's possible that some of it could go on Monday, and it's possible that some could go on Friday, but I think the majority of this will go out on Saturday. And we have a Dexter Manley. That is a sticker auto. It's for the Redskins, and it's numbered to 25. So it's 11 of 25 on the Dexter Manley autograph hit. So that's a nice, uh, nice retro hit there for the Skins. A nice low number, too. So we pulled a couple of... Uh, low numbered autos and I think one of our fabrics was low numbered the other two were higher oh that's nice with uh, Zeke and Emmett Smith Charlie Trippy we pulled a Charlie Trippy uh, out of Prime Signatures the other day I think it was right I think it was a Charlie Trippy uh, signature out of 2011 Prime Signatures that we pulled most recently. There's a Donta Freeman rookie. Oh, yeah, you're right. We did have one box with two Cowboys and one box with two Redskins. And then we also had, uh, of course, the, the Tampa Bay Bucks had a Fabrics uh, hit and then the Raiders. So that, I don't remember in which box that came out of. Uh, maybe they were out of the same box. Just That is number to 10. Um, and that has got to be, of course, there's no uh, team or other information on it. So this is going to be one of the short prints, aside from the fact, obviously, it's numbered only to 10. Um, it's also missing its nameplate and things down at the bottom on the front. So definitely a short print on the Gronk. That is one thing I would like to see Panini do a little more of. That's something that Top does extremely well is uh, short prints, you know. And they do a lot of different variations. So I would like to see Panini kind of start to do a little more things along those lines like that. Because honestly, sometimes you wind up uh, making more on short prints. Or I shouldn't say making more because some of you probably keep them. Not everyone buys, you know, gets them to resell. But you wind up with a higher value sometimes on a short print that isn't an autograph or a relic than you would get on some cards that are autograph or relic. And what do we have here? To $2.99 on the Jim Kick for the Dolphins. Oh, you have, uh, oh, you've got the Patriots. All right, Spiders. Well, cool. That's a good hit for you. On the uh, short print Gronk and then number to 10 as well. Very nice hit. Ah, daggone it. Sorry about that. Thank goodness I have the mat. Uh, we have Chad Kelly up. Numbered to 49. So, of course, we will be uh, verifying the Chad Kelly before we finish up the break. Because that is of course, in his college uniform, and that's definitely a hit. So we're definitely going to verify that one while we're still live. All the, all the other ones that are just over there on the base cards, I will do after the fact so that we don't have to spend forever with me looking all that up because I do verify them all. <laughs> Jamal Williams to $2.99, rookie, of course. Gary and Conley again. Oh, there's a Le'Veon Bell insert, Record Breakers. Another duel with career colors. My stack is getting kind of large. So I think I'm going to move a couple of them towards the back here so that we have a little more room to work.
put our little dummy card, decoy card, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Cam Newton to $2.99. And some of these I know I'm getting them like really close to the camera uh, when I'm trying to read. Oh, there's a uh, DAC on there with Joe Montana when I'm trying to read the number. Um, if you haven't done a break with me before, I have kind of a weird vision thing. Uh, it's a result of my surgery that didn't go very well many years ago. And I don't have very good middle distance vision, and it also fluctuates. There's an Antonio Brown. So sometimes I have to pull it up really close to be able to see the, the numbers on it, because it either needs to be really close or really far away. It's just like right here in this particular range where I do the breaks, it's hard for me to see some of the smaller print. So if I ever do miss something that is numbered or I read off a number and it's actually, you can see that it's numbered something else, you know, you feel free to jump in and tell me in chat or obviously you know you're going to get the card you see no matter whether I call out the wrong number or not, which I try not to. That is a 10 of 10. So there's another short print. You'll see it's missing uh, the nameplate and things at the bottom. 10 of 10. Uh, Spencer Ware. For the Kansas City Chiefs. So that's a couple of uh, short prints we have found. Wayne Gallman. So if all the short prints are numbered to 10, that's pretty nice. I like that. I like that plan. If we can keep them nice low numbered. Hey, there's Dwight Clark, whose uh, jersey we pulled earlier tonight. In that break, there's Dak, Marcus Allen, and Marcus Allen is a Hall of Fame Canton Collections materials insert, and that is 104 of 299. If I get it at the right angle, there you can see the you can see the number on it. So that's cool hit for the Raiders with the Marcus Allen fabric. Another Peyton Manning insert. And we've got uh, T's Tabor numbered to 99. So there's another one of our rookies that uh, is numbered. And you never know which one's going to turn out to be the one, right? Like last year, who would have thought it was going to be Dak Prescott? I mean, Ezekiel Elliott, yeah, we might have figured was going to do pretty well, but probably not that many of us would have said at the beginning of the year that we expected uh, Dak to, to be not only the starter, but blowing everybody away down there in Dallas. That's part of the fun of the rookie class, right? We don't know what we're going to get until they get a chance to get on the field and show us. And honestly, aren't you kind of like already ready for football? Like I know it's we're not even into summer yet, but I don't know. Somehow it just seems like we should already be thinking about football again. Probably because they put the cards out basically year-round at this point. They don't even take much of a break anymore. So I think they, they kind of slowly, over time, they condition us to uh, to want to watch football year-round. Of course, we're getting ready to come up. Uh, we still got another month to go before we even come up on the NFL draft. Still got the NFL playoffs to finish up. Which, like, didn't we all see that coming? That it's just going to be the... The Cavs again, same matchup. Same matchup as last year. See if the outcome's the same. Ryan Tannehill to 299. There's Miles Garrett. Shelton Gibson, number 250 on that rookie. I'm just trying to keep all of our uh, dual player cards. If you wonder, I keep stacking them off there to the left, and that's just so we can kind of keep them all separated, and we can take a look at them and see what we need to do. 
So Ryan Sweetser, rookie hit, numbered to 199. That also we will verify along with the Chad Kelly. We'll do both of those at the end of the break. So two of our rookie signatures. And then a couple of nice uh, veteran signatures as well. Nice mix so far. Of course, you guys are probably mainly looking for the rookies. I, I appreciate the veteran hits too, but I know a lot of times... Uh, a lot of times you're just looking for the rookies, but I kind of like to see a little of, all, of everybody. Bo Jackson, Classic Materials, another hit for the Raiders. And Bo Jackson is numbered to 299. We do have a little bit of corner and edge wear on that. Not a tremendous amount, but there is a little bit, which honestly is usually the case, even right out of the pack, and particularly on some of the thicker cards that just seems to be... The way they go, the way they come out, so that's why it's so rare to have a card that grades to a 10, because they usually don't even come out of the pack at a 10. In fact, the guy that owns the card store here locally told me that um, some of the industry people told him uh, many years ago that the average card comes out of the pack at like an 8.5, would grade an 8.5 right out of the pack. This is 25 of 25 on the Barry Sanders for the Lions. So they know, you know, that their cards aren't coming out at perfect 10s, but I do think a lot of it has to do, particularly when they're signed, because those cards are being transported back and forth, and then the players are signing them and dragging, you know, like on Strata. You know, whenever I think about Strata, there's almost always uh, like minute little scratches on Strata. And you don't always see them head on, but you see it a lot. There's Tredavious White. If you hold it kind of in the right light or at the right angle. Josh Dobbs, there's another Pittsburgh Steeler. Um, and I think that that, honestly, I think that's, you know, players, when they're signing things, they're dragging whatever they've got on across the surface of the card, or they're dragging it across the table or the whatever. So, you know, I think part of the, part of the stuff that happens to it's when they're being, uh, when they're being signed. And then part of it's probably just in the production process and whatever. There was a Cam Robinson. I hope Josh Dobbs works out for the Steelers. I really do. I mean, I know he's not there to take Big Ben's place right now, but you know, Ben's going to be retiring soon. So this one we will take to random because there are three teams on here. So uh, that one we'll, we'll take to random with the three teams. The other ones with two teams, uh, we'll probably just go with, we'll go with the suggestion that Spider Soccer made earlier. And we'll go left left hand side or right hand side other than cards obviously like the the matt ryan and the luke ketchley which we've got we've you know seen so many times i will send one to each team from that that's 299 on the mean joe green Another idolized Stacy Coley. And last pack out of break number one. Obviously, break number two is going to follow this one sh shortly behind it. There's a Son Reddick to $2.99. Oh, Jake Butt. Hope he's going to come back and do well. I mean, after that injury. All right, so here's this whole gigantic stack of these, and I'm kind of, uh, we're not going to go into like a full-on whatever, but I do want to flip through these and see if we have a lot of duplicates. Well, maybe not as many, other than just, uh, they mostly seem to be Matt Ryan and Luke Ketchley. There's like a hundred of that one. That's a duplicate. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Anything that we have... The exact same card, like this, or like the Ketchley and the Matt Ryan, 
each of the teams represented will get one of them. Okay, so like in the case of the of the Ketchley and the Matt Ryan, if we've got five of them, each of you will get one. Each team would get one. The Falcons and would get one. The Panthers would get one. And then the rest of them, so let's say out of the five, that one's a little different because it's got a gold border. So that one will go whichever way random says. So out of the four, each of you will get one. Then these remaining three will go to either the left-hand side of the card or the right-hand side of the card. Does that make sense to everybody? And that, again, is only if we've got multiple identical cards like this. You know, one will go to the Raiders, one will go to the Falcons, the one that is left, which is this one, and you see has a little different border. That one will be decided via random left-hand side or right-hand side. So let's go ahead and take care of that first, and then we'll do the triple, the triple card there. And then we will go back and verify our two rookie hits and review, uh, do a hits recap as well. All right, so we're going to enter left and right, and we're going to hit random three times. And whoever's on top at the third time, that's how those are going to roll. All right, and you'll see randomized three times. There's our date and time stamp, and it came up left. I'm going to write that down. Break number one goes to the left. And again, just to be clear, if I have multiples and it's an identical card, each team will get one, and then all of the excess or any of the variations, like the different color border, uh, will go to the left-hand side on those multiplayer cards. Then career colors, what do we have here? Um, that is Falcons, Niners, and Cowboys. So we're going to go back to random and do Falcons, Niners, and Cowboys. We're going to go three times again. Niners and Cowboys. And that will tell us who's going to end up with that card. There's first random, second random, third random, Cowboys. And then there again, three times, date and timestamp, etc. So, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in a sleeve and write Cowboys on there. So, and again, I'm writing on the sleeve. I'm not writing on the card. There's always somebody who freaks out and think you're writing on the card. See, no, it's on the sleeve, it's not on the card. Uh, so that I know that goes to the Cowboys. And this will all go to the left-hand side. And we'll set these out. We'll do our hits recap. As Let me go ahead and pull up our, our draft info to take care of Chad Kelly and Sweetser. So bear with me one moment, please, while I pull that up. And then as soon as we get uh, our hits recap, then we'll be ready to do the second half of the case, which will be break number two, of course. All right, Chad Kelly is a Bronco, drafted by the Broncos. Ryan Sweetser, drafted by the Cowboys. So Sweetser, Cowboys, Chad Kelly, Broncos. Then we had our short print numbered to 10 for the Chiefs with the Spencer Ware. Our short print numbered to 10 for the Patriots with the Gronkowski. Dexter Manley for the Redskins. Our on-card buyback autograph, which is a case hit, Warren Sapp for the Bucks. And again, remember, you've got a little wonky corner down there in particular in the lower left that I noticed. And then Jimmy Johnson for the Cowboys. Then our materials, Bo Jackson for the Raiders. Marcus Allen for the Raiders. Bruce Smith for the Redskins. Darren McFadden for the Raiders. Raiders got a lot of materials hits in there. And then for the Cowboys, DeMarcus Ware. So that is our hits recap. Um, and that is break number one. So bear with me a minute while I move. Uh, I want to move all these cards down into uh, the other, into the staging area down here on their, their little mat down the way. 
so that we can set up and do break number two. And hey guys, I really appreciate everybody breaking with me tonight. Um, as always, I mean, I appreciate any night, any time, uh, Anytime you guys break with me, it is very much appreciated. I love breaking cards. It's a lot of fun for me. And, of course, you all bidding is what makes it possible for me to do the breaks. So I do like to try to remember and say thank you every night because it is a lot of fun. And you guys make it possible. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. Do I have you on that view? Yes, I do. <laughs> there for a minute, I thought I left you in the other place. Uh, all right, and that is going to bring us up to break number two, and it is the same uh, same scenario. We're going to have five boxes coming out, and again, you have team names down the left, winning bidder names down the right. Anything uh, that says no bids buyback, uh, well, that just means there's an unloved, unwanted team, and any cards that come out for that will hang out here with me. Anything that says unpaid, uh, I realize payment may have come in in the interim, but at the time the spreadsheet was finalized, it had not yet come in. So that's why it's marked unpaid on there. And there was one that was marked payment pending, and that is literally because that's how it is, shows on eBay. Uh, it literally shows in, it's on the unpaid page, but then it says payment pending. So I'm going to assume that, uh, I don't know, whatever, wasn't done processing or something. <laughs> so that's why that designation was on there. So here are our remaining boxes. Of course, random.org shows which five boxes we were going to break out of break, not for break number one. And these are our five remaining for break number two. And we'll just do the same thing that we did for break number one. All of our multiplayer cards that are unnumbered will go into a stack and we'll do the exact same thing where we'll let random decide whether the team on the left or the team on the right gets them except in the case of uh, you know where we have multiples of the exact same card then I'll make sure that each team gets at least one and then the excess will go to the other uh, to either the left or the right I probably shouldn't take all those out we do like to keep our boxes separate to see what comes out of what box so we'll leave that box out but sitting over there for the moment and then we'll we'll bust through this one So we had a couple of nice hits, I think, in the first half of this case. Oh, there's Deshaun Kaiser, who we didn't see at all in the first half of the case. I don't believe, anyway. So hopefully we're going to have some nice hits in the second half as well. Whoops, i got to set the... You know what? Well, I guess I'll just keep them over there to the left. It's like not a natural... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like muscle memory, right? Like where you just do it without even thinking about it. So I, without thinking about it, I want to put everything to the right. I have to stop and think about the fact that I'm trying to put all the, there's Zeke, all the multiplayer cards to the left instead. Mal Malik McDowell, Noah Brown. I can't believe how much rain we have gotten here this week. I don't know what part of the country you guys are in, but it has been crazy here. Oh my goodness. We're going to have something for the black and gold, and it's Jerome Bettis. Oh, I'm loving that, of course. That is Canton Collections Materials Hit, and that is numbered to $2.99. Of course, I was hoping we were going to see an autograph for the bus, but that's all right. We'll take it. We like, uh, I like seeing. I like seeing the bus. I miss him. I miss him. I miss Troy Palomalu. I miss Heath Miller. I mean, you know, got a lot of uh, a lot of our retired players that that you just become attached to, right? I mean, I'm sure we all have that. The teams that you like, there's certain players you become very attached to over time. Jim Kick numbered to two ninety nine for the Dolphins. Troy Aikman, Steve Young. I don't know if we saw that one in the last part. There's Tacris McKinley. 
So we're definitely seeing a few things in these other boxes that we haven't seen in the first boxes. Because I, I don't think we saw Deshaun Kaiser in the first set at all. J.J. Watt. I had to stop for a minute because I wasn't sure J.J. or T.J. And I hope T.J.'s as good as J.J., right? Because, yeah. That'd be pretty sweet if he is. Be hard to be as good as J.J., though. J.J.'s pretty solid. <laughs> Jamal Williams to 299. Next level, Andrew Luck. Chad Hansen. Another idolized Ezekiel Elliott Emmett Smith. Career colors. Now, obviously, any of the dual player cards that, you know, feature the same team, like the one we just saw, you know, clearly that's going to the Cowboys. The ones I was referencing earlier are the dual player that have two different teams on them. That is the two ninety nine for Cam Newton. Deshaun Watson. Might be the first Deshaun Watson we saw out of here as well. Remember seeing him in the last break? Although occasionally they might go by and I don't notice them, but I do try to at least... Uh, Kamara, pull out or call out the ones that uh, that I think someone might be looking for. Oh, there's Fournette. I don't remember seeing him last time either. Do you guys remember seeing him in the first half of the case? I do not. So there's a nice Fournette for the Jags. Here's a short print for the Dolphins, and it is number 10 of 10. And, of course, again, you're missing the nameplate down there on the bottom. That's Bob Greasy for the Dolphins. Here's TJ, speak of the devil. And that, of course, headed to the Steelers with the TJ Watt. So we should have a signature in this pack. I don't think we've seen our, we haven't seen our signature yet out of here. And there it is, as a matter of fact, Sidney Jones. And, of course, we will verify that at the end of the break, being a rookie hit. It is $199 for the Sidney Jones. Taco Charlton. And the box two. Marcus Walker. Davis Webb just went by. Ah, I'm going to get that pack open. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Man, how many Matt Ryan and Luke Ketchleys do they have in there? There's like a lot. Um, was one of that? No, that other career colors was a two-team. This is a three-team again. So the three-team will have to visit random. Randall Cobb, ex-UK guy. Brian Urlacher, number two. Does that say $199? No, it says $299 on the Urlacher. Is that Isaiah Pete? No, Isaiah Ford. Classic Materials, Drew Brees for the Saints, and that is numbered to $2.99. And again, you got a little bit of, you know, chipping and edge wear and things on there, which pretty common for the thicker cards in particular. I do try to call that stuff out if I see it. Um, again, with my vision issues, sometimes I don't see it during the break, and I don't catch it until... I'm doing the sort, but I try to see it live, and if I do, of course, I point it out. But I imagine most of you have done lots of breaks and have a lot of cards at home, so you probably already know 
know that that happens more frequently than we might prefer. I don't know what the deal is that I'm not, like, I can't get all these packs open tonight. What in the world is going on? Tredavious White to 299. It's always interesting to see what kind of market value the newer, you know, the newer rookies uh, have with their autographs. It's, I mean, it's, got to be just based on what we think they're going to do clearly because they haven't done anything yet it's always interesting to look back on it when you get to about december and see how much we were right or wrong danelle pumphrey oh man sorry danelle pumphrey to 199 and i am just checking that because i you saw it one uh side of it went down on the mat there but everything does look to be okay i don't see anything that uh Looks out of the ordinary on it. So, Danelle Pumphrey to 199. Say Jones. I guess that's another reason to have the double thick mat. Actually, tonight it's a triple thick mat. So, I've got a Bowman mat down and a Panini mat. There's Dalvin Cook. And a panini mat and a tops mat, all three down tonight in the break area. Jabari Howard to five. Wow, okay, one of five on the Jabari Howard. Let's go ahead and go ahead and get him in a in a sleeve. So again, anybody that might have jumped in late, expect this stuff to go out somewhere in probably uh, Malifawanu in the Saturday to Monday area. A slight possibility a few of them could get out earlier than that on Friday, but I really expect it to be more along the lines of Saturday and uh, probably even into Monday by the time this, uh, Josh Malone, by the time all this gets sorted. And then, of course, we got to go through and sort all the rookies in their college uniforms as well and all that jazz. Cameron Sutton, and as I mentioned at the top of the break, uh, and then of course some of you jumped in and said, well, you did want your random card, so some people want their random cards, and all the feedback I had gotten up to the point of you guys saying it tonight in chat had been that nobody wanted them. This is Tyrod Taylor to 299 that, uh, you know, the folks that don't get a hit, Elijah Qualls, or don't draw a card, which of course, in this tonight, every team's going to draw draw cards in classics because this is a half case break and it's base heavy, so we don't have to worry about that in this. But and the jersey breaks and the helmet breaks and you know when you're doing short breaks like playbook and things like that that don't have a lot of cards in the set, there's always teams that don't draw anything. And if they don't draw anything, uh, I had been sending out a couple of just random assorted cards to those folks and then all the feedback I was getting was that no one wanted them and <laughs> people were just kind of chucking them in the trash and I thought oh, that doesn't sound like a great idea just to throw them away and so I was going to say if you wanted them let me know if you don't then I'm going to set aside for each person who doesn't want them into a pile a group of cards and then I'm going to donate them to um to a children's hospital or to the Ronald McDonald House or whatever, probably once about every six weeks. Malik Hooker to 199. So we're pulling lots of uh, lots of rookie autos out of this half of the case. We had a few more veteran autos in the other half, and I think it's all been rookie signatures so far out of this half of the case. Jones again. 
So just, you know, give me a heads up if you guys don't want the cards, if you do want the cards, uh, because I don't want to send them if somebody's just going to be chucking them in the trash when they could be Josh Malone, when they could be going, you know, to kids who would enjoy having them. And if you do want them, that's great. I'm happy to keep on sending them. More than happy to do that, of course. Shock Linwood. Just didn't want to do it if it wasn't wanted. Which a lot of the feedback I had been getting up to this point was that it definitely was not wanted. There was John Ross. But then some of you guys said you do, so... Doug Baldwin, numbered to two ninety nine. Oh, there's an Aaron Rodgers uh, parallel, looks like. I would say that that is probably a short print of some sort. I don't think our other Aaron Rodgers look like that. Maybe it did, but I don't remember it looking like that. So that's potentially a short print on the Aaron Rodgers. We'll have to, I'll have to find another Aaron Rodgers in here before I can tell you that 100% for sure. Cameron Sutton again. Tim Tebow. How about that? Flashback Fabrics for the Broncos with the Tebow numbered to 399. Is that going to say game worn? Yeah, game, game worn, game used, whatever. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen. I actually pulled a Tebow, uh, I was opening some 2010 stuff for myself, uh, what was it, last week, I guess, and I pulled uh, a, Tim, a Tim Tebow fabric kit out of some 2010, I think it was out of Tops. I don't know, it might have been out of a Panini, honestly, I don't remember. I opened a few things for my uh, Davis Webb for myself in the last week or so. And one of them was the Tim Tebow, and it just kind of made me smile. Just think about how how we all thought, oh yeah, Tim Tebow, you know, like everybody wants the Tim Tebow hits back then. Of course, there's still actually his signature still probably brings fifty or hundred bucks on uh, cards. So Dan Hampton to two hundred and ninety nine. So Tebow's still marketable, even though he hasn't been in the league in quite a while. So I guess everybody saw the the new rules that the commissioner announced that they're going to let them do a little more end zone celebrating these days. Of course, they did make a point of uh, saying, probably for the uh, benefit of Antonio Brown, uh, still no pumping. <laughs> So no twerking for Antonio. He'll get fined again. Two nine to this is to two hundred and ninety nine on the Elijah Qualls. But they are gonna let him do some. Uh, there's a Melifuanu again. They are gonna let him do some celebrating and some group celebrations and various things that had previously been banned. I think they said still, you know, nothing considered sexual, which makes sense. Nothing like mimicking that you have a weapon of any type and you still can't like, you know, jump up and slam dunk over the goalpost. This is to two ninety nine on the Calvin Johnson. But they are gonna loosen up on them a little bit. Which will be nice. I mean it has been a little strict, I think, in recent years. And then of course uh, limiting overtime to ten minutes as well. Another change. I don't know that that's going to lead to any more tied games. I mean, of course, that's the whole thing everybody's talking about. Oh, will it equal, you know, a bunch more tied games because it's cut back from 15 minutes to 10 minutes? I don't really think it will. I guess it could, but it doesn't seem all that likely. Malik McDowell. Travis Kelsey to two ninety nine with the Chiefs. Corey Davis. Oh, I can never say this guy's name. 
His last name, I think, is pronounced Suh, but that may be wrong, too. Uh, for the Lions, and it is number two, three ninety nine. I do know one thing about that fella. He is one heck of a tackle. He is quite uh, imposing, I think is the word I'm looking for. He's quite an imposing tackle. And who do we have here? Cooper Cup. And there is an... That one is... Uh, is that numbered to 10? Yeah, 6 of 10. So we'll go ahead and slide this guy into a sleeve as well. Another rookie. Another rookie hit. So isn't that kind of... It's kind of weird, right? That... that um, Random.org chose the boxes, you know, that we opened in each break. But yet every every signature hit that we pulled out of this half of the break has all been rookies. And out of the first half of the break, I mean, we, we had more veteran than we have. There's Mahomes again. Then we have rookie. So it's kind of weird, right? I mean, like, even though Random did it, it's kind of like Random broke it up into a veteran half of the break and a rookie half of the break. I don't know. It's kind of odd. I mean, not odd in a bad way, but interesting. Maybe interesting is the word I should use rather than odd. I think, yeah, I think it's interesting. There's a Joe Mixon to $2.99. Isaiah Ford to 99, straight up 99. Evan Ingram again. We're getting there, guys. I know it takes a little while to go through, uh, through them when there's this much base, but... I do like to at least leave it up there for a half a second, so if somebody wants to see who they're pulling, they can. I know some. I know it's faster if you don't do anything but shuffle for the hits, but but I think it's uh, I think it's nice to kind of have a second to look at them. That is number two fifty on the Perrine. Joe Hayden, that may well be another short print. I expect that it probably is, again, with that kind of uh, sort of black and white photography, if you will, with everything, not just the background in sepia. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. It's not exactly black and white. With the player in the same kind of sepia tones that the background is in, I believe is probably a short print. There's another Fournette. There's a Brady and Manning Clashes. Strahan to 299. I went Archie Manning. Isn't it crazy how you have the dad and both sons, not just quarterbacks, but like quarterbacks with a long career, a long and a good career. I mean, that's just like the most athletically gifted family <laughs> in terms of football quarterbacks. It's crazy. Probably put some pressure on their kids, right? Like if you're Peyton's kid or you're Eli's kids, I assume they have kids. I don't know that they do, but I assume they do. Probably puts a little pressure on you, right? Like dad, uncle, grandfather, all, all tremendous uh, NFL quarterbacks. And then what if you're the kid and you will come up and want to play basketball or something? That would probably be kind of like, what? <laughs> that is not the family business. Antonio Freeman to two ninety nine. AJ Green, that's another one that I'm thinking could be a short print on that. 
since this is my first time opening this product along with you guys tonight, these two breaks, I am learning as we go myself. Josh Dobbs again. Roger Staubach to 299 for the Cowboys. Classic Materials, Jamius Winston for the Bucks. And the Winston is numbered to 299. And same as the others, does have a little bit of corner kind of edge wear to it, but nothing too outrageous. There's another triple card, so we have two triple cards that'll have to uh, that will have to Miles Garrett have to go to random. And again, if somebody wasn't watching earlier, anything that you see Houston Oilers like that Earl Campbell that just went by, that will go to the Tennessee Titans. And that's just because the card stays with the franchise. And, of course, uh, the Houston Oilers became... The Tennessee Oilers became the Tennessee Titans. And I know some of you that watch this the whole way through, you're like, oh my God, you've said that like already. I know. But I see people jump in and jump out, right? So, <laughs> like, you never know. This is a $2.99 on the D.D. Westbrook. So, just trying to keep everybody in the loop. So, if somebody has jumped in, joined us midway through, they still know what's going on. Ah. And we have our Darius Stewart, numbered to, I think that says 49, right? 11 of 49 on the Ardarius Stewart. So, we have... Yeah, we have every signature hit has been a rookie so far out of this half of the case. I guess, and I think that was the last signature hit out of this half. That's because this is our last uh, box. So, yep, all all rookies on this half. Jabril Peppers, I that's the first time I remember seeing Jabril as well. We may have seen him earlier, but it's the first time I remember seeing him. I do have one more case of classics. This is Elijah Qualls, numbered 250, which I got half of it listed tonight that will end on Monday night, Memorial Day. And the other half I'll probably end uh, either the following night on Tuesday or on Wednesday. And then that's all I have of this, just the case that we're doing right now tonight, and one more case. That got stuck there on my little, uh, what do you call it, decoy dummy card. Derek Barnett. And, of course, we will do the nightly random tonight after we do our hit recap and verify our rookies, who they were drafted by, since we have signatures for them. And then, of course, we've got to do, we got to do a bunch of things in random tonight. we got a lot of random stuff to do. So just to review all the cards like this, if we have anything that is a duplicate, the exact same card with the exact same everything, uh, then it would go one to each team. Like I think we have two of these Brady's. Where the other Brady went? Oh no, because one's gold and one's white. Um, so if these had both been, if these had been the same card and both with the same white border, then I would have sent one to each team and any others would have gone via the left-right scenario we're about to do, but since they are different, one with a gold border, one with a white border, then literally random is going to tell us uh, on anything like that how it's going to go. So let's go in here and see what's going to happen. We're going to do the same thing we did on break one, which is we'll put in left and right we're going to go to random three times wherever it ends up on the third time is going to be who gets those cards and that ends up on the right hand side i'm going to write that down 
as break number one went to the left, break number two, this break, they're going to the right. Then we're going to go back to random, and we have two of these triple cards. One of them is Brett Favre, uh, Packers, Jets, Vikings. We're going to do it first and see where it goes. And that is Packers, Jets, Vikings. And again, we'll go three times. There's first, here's the second. Here is the third, and it is going to the Packers. So bear with me. I'm going to stick that in a sleeve like we did the other one and just write Packers on it. Or I'll actually, I'll just circle the Packers, and then I'll know. Then our other triple card is Randy Moss, Vikings, Raiders, Patriots. So let's take a look at that one. Vikings, Raiders, and Patriots. And there's the first one, the second one, the third one, and that is going Vikings. So again, we're going to put it in there, and I'm going to circle the team that that is going to. And then let me bring you back to the main view here. Ah, I stepped in my pile of wrappers. <laughs> Okay, so these cards, uh, they're going to go to the team on the right, except in the case where if we have multiples and they're the exact same card uh, that we have more than once. There's an example. Nope, that's not an example. And maybe we don't have any that are identical. But if we did, if we do have one that's identical in every way, one would go to each team and any excess would go to the right. Anything that is not identical is just going to go to the team on the right-hand side of the card. This went to the Vikings, hence the circle. Again, circles on the sleeve, not the card. This went to the Packers, same thing, on the sleeve, not the card. Then we have our short print, numbered to 10 for the Dolphins. Materials hit for the Bucks with the Jamius Winston. Materials hit for the Lions with the Sue or Su, whichever way you say that. Tebow materials hit for the Broncos. Drew Brees materials hit for the Saints. And the bus for the Steelers, Jerome Bettis. Now, all of our signatures are rookies. So we are going to go to our little draft tracker and just verify each one of these. I'm trying to lay them out so that, can you see them all on the camera that way? Maybe not. Maybe if I move it. A little bit you can and then that way I can just we can just read them off I still can't probably so I'm I guess I will hold them up as we go and read them off so we'll go uh, Sydney Jones up first and Sydney here where do you go Sydney Sydney Jones is an eagle so the Sydney Jones headed to the Eagles next up is Donnell Pumphrey and Pumphrey is also an eagle. So there's a second hit headed to the eagles. Now we're on Malik Hooker. And Malik is going to the Colts. Malik Hooker to the Colts. That brings us to the Cooper Cup. And let's see, where are you going, Cooper? Cooper is headed to the Rams. And then finally, we have Ardarius Stewart. And Ardarius is headed to the Jets for Ardarius Stewart. So that is the hit recap for break number two. And then that leaves us finally, we're up to our nightly random at this point in time and let me just get the ipad set back up here or rather the spreadsheet set back up can't even speak all right so on tab two sheet two whatever you want to call it uh, i have everybody 
from all of the breaks tonight, the mini helmet, the full-size helmet, the jersey, break one and break two of classics, all over here in aggregate on sheet number two so that we didn't have to go through such a trauma of getting it all one break at a time. That way it's just in there ready to go. And Random's going to do two things for us. The first thing it's going to do is tell us which one of you takes something extra home tonight. And then it will tell us which thing out of our stack of 10 you're going to take home with you. And we're scrolling all the way up here so you can see everybody is in there. And it is Jory tonight. All right, Jory. Let us, let's see what you're going to win, my friend. I've got a little stack of 10 things over there. So we're just going to put in 1 through 10 for the moment. And then Random will tell us which thing out of the stack you're going to get. All right, you are going to get number 8 out of our stack, Jory. So here is the stack. So there is 10, 9, 8. All right, Jory, you are taking home this Vance McDonald rookie fabric kit. Of course, he played plays for the 49ers. And that is number to 299, and this is out of 2013, totally certified. So, Jory, that'll be coming with the rest of your cards. And guys, that is it for tonight. That is the whole ball of wax. So, as always, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you bidding with me, hanging out with me, chatting with me, and all that other stuff. So, um. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and I hope that I see you again soon on another break. Take care.